starting up with this line out for seven of the 11 starters who played in their last competitive game 52 days ago in the Europa League get the nod tonight from Jose Mourinho which means we'll have to wait to see their two new signings so far Lukaku and Lindelof for the Los Angeles Galaxy a strong dose of players who've come through the youth academy one big exception up front to that Jack McInerney who wears number 20 will get to, to play from the start we expect a whole host of Chenio as the uh, game unfolds David De Gea a hero's welcome from the United fans as he emerged here in the Stockholm Centre there is Jose Mourinho at the dawn of his second season in charge and it's a big one Taylor his second years have generally gone very well wherever he's been as a, as a club manager well in that charisma that we were so used to in the times before that last year you didn't see it and quite often that that love for the game and the big signings are coming they expect big things in Manchester this year opposing him you saw him Kurt Anolfo a difficult first year in charge for him it's always difficult trying to follow a legend, isn't it? Uh, Manchester United know all about that. It's been four fallow years since the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson. That signs of life under Jose Mourinho. Let's not forget, they did win two. He's going to look at the entire roster and say, I want to get 45 minutes for as many players as I can. I, I do look at Kurt Arnolfo and his experience with LAG2 and USL and a lot of these players. Back giveaway here. Chance early on for United and just like that... They have their first goal. It was almost routine, wasn't it? For Rashford just to slot it home. Sloppy giveaway. Well, and there's nervy touches early on. And already in this game, what are you, three minutes in, and Nathan Smith has had two or three bad giveaways. His first touch was a slot, was played into his feet here, and just collected that very calmly. Lingard puts pressure on it, and that's a simple finish for Marcus Rashford but Nathan Smith doesn't deal with the pressure from Lingard well enough Manchester United to their tour here in the United States Marcus Rashford uh, was uh, United's youngest ever scorer in European competition and they've won one in nine here well and in the same token that's that was an issue for Manchester United last year underneath Is Rashford will dart inside Marcus Rashford looking for his second oh, he went for the uh, rather casual outside of the right foot approach and the break might be on here two against two for the Galaxy Jones and Valencia trying to put the brakes on and Phil Jones uh, read that good to defending function. that's great Lingard for Mata a shift from him and a little chip as well and Kempin is equal to it and Kempin able to uh, hold in the rebound as well this was the save again from Kempin that's a uh, Hugo Ariano Ian up against uh, the 19 year old who wears number 19 for United Rashford's on the move again here. Can he make it two? Yes, he can. Another calm, confident finish from Marcus Rashford, who is off to the perfect start in preseason. Just sloppy possession from the LA Galaxy, trying to play through the midfield of Garcia. Mendiola, bad giveaway here, but then you get Marcus Rashford one on one with John Kempen. And the two opportunities tonight, he's been very clinical and putting it away to that back post. I said Marcus Rashford earlier was the best English striker that Harry Kane is. But when you've got a young 19-year-old striker like Marcus Rashford, Romelu Lukaku is now into this roster. Where does Rashford play? Is it big? Have been the most dependable players over the last four or five years here. There's Lingard trying to make things happen. He might get on the end of this too. Lingard wheeling around, setting up Fellaini. And Fellaini just placing it calmly as you like into the back of the net. And already it's feeling like the Rose Bowl three years ago. Well, an absolute clinic on moving without the ball, laying it off, two touch passing, playing between the seams. Well, watch how quick it's here.
He'll play the ball in here. Herrera lays it off perfectly, but then it's the ability to lose Nathan Smith and give Fellaini an opportunity to hit it first time. Lingard Herrera one and allows Fellaini with an easy finish. Manchester United put on a clinic. Marouane Fellaini, of course, a Belgian who moved from Everton to Manchester United. There's uh, someone who has strong connections to both clubs. Save your thoughts on that. I want to get into that a little more at half time, Taylor. As Mata swings that wide for Lingard. Fellaini is in the box again. Lingard demands a piece of it for himself this time. And why not? Jesse Lingard, who only scored once in the Premier League last year, but scored goals. A little uh, injection of. Uh, Adrenaline has started to get away, hadn't it? It was still always mighty impressive here. Won an MLS Cup since 2014. Rashford. Just uh, a yard or so away from his hat-trick. I know he's 35 years of age, but I can watch Michael Carrick here. Said he's one of the best holding midfielders he's ever seen in his career. United. Last year of his current contract as Valencia sets sail here. Valencia getting to the byline. A little delicate touch to Fellaini. And Daniel Sterez is there. Talking of United uh, legends, our newest 30 for 30 film uh, is coming up this Thursday night. Belgium reaching out to him in text yep. message, talking about the pressure and the expectations. Is Rashford applying the pressure meanwhile? Matter taking it on and Matter into the side netting. Lukaku. It's, just... it's been such an active first half for Juan Mata. He's timed his runs perfectly off of Marcus Rashford. Earlier on in his career with Valencia. It's just a fabulous Valencia team. Lind underneath it. Oh, and the shot from Carrick. Kemping can't gather it. The offside flag was up, though, and Smalling will be denied. Carrick's shot initially. Asseter down in front of us. This was the offside goal. Carrick over the top. Flag has stayed down this time. And Rashford has a chance to bag his hat trick. And Kempin denies it. Well, in one of the criticisms I've always had of Daniel Sterez, and we've seen it at our time here with either Jordan Morris, is when that run is over, he gets caught ball watching at times and Marcus Rashford timed that run perfectly there's Jack McEnany finally getting involved Player playing with his uh, fifth different team in five years and indeed the half time whistle goes so the two goals from Marcus Rashford uh, the highlight of the first half for Laney and chipped in with one of his own it was all very comfortable indeed for Manchester United from as early as the second. And Jermaine Jones. Yeah, Lindelof, even two years ago, was almost low down to Middlesbrough. Here can be United again, and it's Victorian this time. Finally, where is beaten in the second half, and it's the man who's looked the most likely in terms of scoring for United, Henrik Victorian, who makes it 4 0 game and exercise for the LA Galaxy is getting some players back getting their fitness Jermaine Jones sloppy giveaway now you've got your center back on his heels Mctari and Lukaku Martial running at him and that's been the story sloppy giveaways in their defensive third has allowed Manchester United easy finishes going the other way Henrik Mctari David Beckham Looking on, I did paid for him at the time. Louis van Hal saying, Well, we're united, we always have to pay 10 million more just because we're united. And here is Martial, and that's what he didn't do enough of last year. Easy finish, composure from the young French striker, and it's five for the Red Devils. Even better composure from the 19 year old right back. Having the ability to pick up his head. Ashley Cole's having to deal with that run inside from Martial, but then 
close to Mensa gets to the end line. You're right, Adrian. I, I, Martial, this is a make or break year. And tonight we're seeing a little bit of a different role. Two wing backs, and now it's allowed Martial to play more centrally, plays a second forward, run off of Lukaku, and he's had his opportunities tonight and takes that one perfectly. glimmer of something to cheer about. Perhaps there's a chance here for Dos Santos. Yes, they can. Right on cue, Giovanni Dos Santos. It's the two leading men for the galaxy who made the most of the first real opportunity of the game. Alessandrini setting it up. Dos Santos doing the rest. And that is why every single LA Galaxy fan says if they get themselves a traditional number nine then it makes Dos Santos and Alessandrini that much more effective because of plays like this. Giovanni Dos Santos can single-handedly put this team on his shoulders and turn the game on a dime if he plays. Here comes the corner, the header down is in! And the Galaxy have their second, Dave Romney was on the end of the corner. Kind of got a touch off of Dos Santos. Those two will sort it out between them. But Galaxy reducing the arrears. Great ball in from Alessandrini. Dave Romney wins this. That looks like it, it hits Giovanni Dos Santos. Yep. 